In the aftermath of Cyclone Phelan, we see the destruction along the Indian East Coast is massive. Many are comparing it to what happened with Katrina, but here's the difference. There is no FEMA or government help to come in and immediately help people back on their feet. These people, over 300,000, have lost their homes, 12 million are affected or displaced, and now it's going to take years to rebuild people's lives. But by God's grace, we're right there on ground zero to be able to help them, especially believers' homes, which we know our own believers, hundreds of them have lost their homes and many churches have been destroyed. And by God's grace, we're right there to begin helping them for the long haul. In times where there is a massive amount of flooding from water that's from tsunamis or cyclones or monsoons, you find that the water just devastates houses, especially in the villages. A lot of them are not made of bricks, some of them are, but many of them are made of mud and it just crumbles when the water hits it. People just trying to find a place to sleep that's dry, people trying to cook food or trying to find food, trying to make a shelter out of simple sheets of cloth or tarps if you're lucky. Looking at opportunities of the future when everything is gone, when your life has been washed away, especially if you're a fisherman on the coast where your boats are gone, your animals are gone, your nets are gone, everything about your life is completely gone. This is where we are helping these people to get back on their feet. In these kinds of times, what they need is they need help and they need the love of Christ and we're providing both to them. As already most of the news channels don't even talk about the cyclone anymore, my encouragement for you is to keep coming back, getting the updates, seeing the pictures, share these prayer requests with your family and your church and actively get them involved in praying. And if God gives you the grace, I would encourage you to consider getting involved with helping these people who are in greatest need. Please share this on Facebook and Twitter and social media with your friends. This is not an awareness campaign. This is an actual opportunity to help change people's lives and show them practically, tangibly, the love of Christ.